Today we are learning about division and the vocab that goes along with division. Here's a problem. I went to a farm and picked 15 apples. I split them into three bags. How many apples are in each bag? Well, I see to myself that I picked 15 apples. I could imagine an image of 15 apples, and I could write a number sentence with a 15. Then I'm splitting them up. And when you are splitting things up, you are doing division. And I can see I'm splitting them into three bags. Well, I could draw those bags. Here's one bag, two bags, three bags. And I could write that I'm splitting it into three bags in my number sentence. Now, if you were to draw this out and put the apples one by one into the bags, you could figure out how many are in each. You could see that in each bag, there are five apples. So this is the concept of division, but there's also vocab that goes along with it. This 15, which represented the total number of apples I had, is called the dividend. The number that I'm dividing by, this 3, which represents the number of bags or groups that I have, is called the divisor. And finally, the 5, which is the answer, or the number of apples in one bag, is called the quotient. Now let's look at one of these together. I brought 12 slices of pizza to school. I shared them with 4 people. How much does everyone get? Well, how much pizza did I bring to school? You can see the problem says 12 slices, and you can imagine 12 slices of pizza. In our number sentence, we can write a 12. Then when I'm sharing, it means I'm splitting the pizza up between different people. What type of math is that? Well, when you share or split things up, you're dividing. And how many people are you sharing with? Well, the problem says we're sharing with four people. We're dividing by four. Now, we could draw out our four people, and we'll box them off so each person's pizza is separate. If you were to organize the pizza slices one by one so that everyone got a fair share, you could calculate that each person gets how much pizza. You could see each person gets three slices of pizza. Now in our number sentence, this 12 represents the total number of slices I started with. What is the vocab word for that number? The total number of things you start with is called the dividend. This four tells me that I was splitting my pizza into four groups or between four people. What is that number called? The number that you're dividing by is called the divisor. And what is the answer to my problem called? The answer is called the quotient. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. There are 20 safety goggles in a science class. They're shared at five table groups. How many does each table group get? Well, first we can think about the problem with 20 safety goggles. There they are. In our number sentence, we write 20. Then we can see they're shared, which means split or being divided, between five table groups. Here are five table groups, and we'll write a five into our number sentence. If you split up the goggles, you can figure out how many each table will get. If you count them up, you can see each table will have four goggles. Now this 20, which represents the total number of goggles, is called the dividend. The 5, which is how many groups we're splitting them up into, is called the divisor. And the answer to our problem is called the quotient. Let's look at another. There are 20 calculators in a classroom. They're shared between four tables. How many calculators are at each table? Well, we can see the 20 calculators and write a 20 into our number sentence. They're being shared, or divided, between four tables, so we're dividing by four. When you do this, you can figure out how many calculators each table gets. We can see that each table will get five calculators. Now this 20, the total number of objects, is called the dividend. The four, which is the number of tables, or the number we're dividing by, is called the divisor. And lastly, the five, or the answer, is called the quotient. So from today, remember, the dividend is the number that is being divided. The divisor is what you are dividing by, and the quotient is just the answer.